welcome back to another video. Um, I hope you're all doing well and happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week and I love Wednesdays because I love the middle of the week. I also love the fact that it's bin day and my bin is so so full. <laughs> so random I know. Anyway, um, in today's video I'm going to be, be speaking about like my fitness and things like what routines I do. Um, basically I'm going to start like a fitness um, series. Um, just because there are two people close to my heart that are starting their fitness journeys um, and I want to be able to motivate them I'd love for me to be able to help them and obviously you guys too um, but yeah basically that's what's going to happen today um, I normally do my workout in the living room but I just think because I'm filming this I'm going to do it up here instead just because there's a little bit more space to sort of set up my um, camera and my ring light and things like that um so yeah let's crack on and start i'm literally going to be speaking about everything um so yeah let's go so the first thing that i grab is i fill up a Revrel um 600 ml uh water bottle and um, this is obviously for my blender downstairs but um I use it also to know how much I'm drinking during the day because obviously it has measurements on it. Um, four of these is equivalent to um, just over two litres. Um, so yeah, and I make a really weak juice just because I'm not a fan of water. Um, so yeah. I also grab my notebook. Um, this is just temporary um, until I can find a journal that I like so I can then jot everything down. Um, I write down what I eat. The calories that I've been intaking, um, although I don't like take too much notice of like the intakes of like the calories, the fat and stuff like that, just because that's when it all becomes mind boggling and that's when it becomes like, oh my God, I really shouldn't have eaten that. Um, I hate myself for that and stuff like that. Like the thing is with fitness is that you have to literally be really calm with it. You can't go in like full guns and blazing and like you literally your mind on it just because you would then end up despising it and exercise is supposed to be fun um but yeah I weigh myself and I jot that down I weigh myself like every Monday um and yeah I just jot that down I jot what I'm eating I jot um the exercise that I've done and how long I've been exercised for um and then days like today where I'm doing upstairs instead of downstairs um I'm going to write out my own fitness um routine just because um the ones on youtube are either a little bit too advanced for me or they are not advanced enough and i know my own strengths so what i find best is that you write down your own because you know your body yourself you know your strengths you know your weaknesses you know how long you can go for when it comes to fitness and your stamina um so yeah i always always write down my own um other than that i will like on days where I'm doing it downstairs, I will use the We Fitness Ring, which my dad got us, because that has the option to choose like your strength and things like that. Obviously, you put in all your details and things like that, and it basically like um, examines you so it knows the strength that it can go at. Um, but yeah, I don't like to follow the YouTube ones um, as much, just because I find, like I say, either not advanced enough, too advanced, and I just like my own so that way i know what i'm doing um but yeah obviously i take their advice from the youtube ones because obviously so i know what fitness is to do um but i write down the ones that i want to do and how like basically my own on how many things i want to do of them um so yeah right now i'm gonna crack on to that After I have wrote down everything that I am going to do, um, I then am going to look on the like on YouTube, on the YouTube, on YouTube, and find a good playlist. Um, you want a playlist that is like really upbeat, um, probably one that you can actually like mime along to and that you really enjoy, just because that be, that will let you more like become more motivated. Um, you don't want like a doom and gloom one. You don't want one. You don't really know any songs. Um, and plus. Find a playlist that is pretty much the time of the length of your workout that you want to do. Um, that way you won't feel defeated if you don't get to the full, the full playlist. And don't find one that is far too long either. 
um, and don't find one as well that's too short because obviously you don't want to be stopping midstream because then that's how you'll lose your motivation. Um, one thing with exercise is you literally just have to push yourself through it. Um, the first day, like the first couple of days are always going to be really hard. You're going to wake up the next morning achy, like you can't move. But you've really got to pursue it on and literally just push through it. Otherwise, you're never going to get to that goal that you want. Um, but yeah, I wrote down the exercise that I'm going to do. I've written, written down like how many of each I'm going to do. This is literally just a guideline. I'm not going to like pretty much stick to it. I might do more than what I've wrote down. Um, I might do less just so I won't be able to cope. Um, but yeah, I've actually got just some ideas down for like a warm up. Um, my arms, my abs, my legs and like my all rounders. And then obviously I've also wrote down a cool down as well. Um, and then I've also wrote my start time and my end time just so then I can log how much exercise I've done for that day um but yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna get changed find a decent playlist um set my camera up somewhere just close my blinds so my neighbours don't see me working out um and yeah pretty much crack on while William is down for a nap so that way I can get refreshed after he's finished so let's go I don't know why I'm closing that because I'm gonna leave that open <laughs> And some music. Um, I've got myself changed. Just got my sports bra on, my cycling pants, and just some trainers on. Um, and yeah, I found a workout playlist, and it's about an hours long. Um, which is about the amount of time I normally do a workout for. That's including um the calling, the warm up, and the cool down. Um, so yeah, let's crack into it. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm just starting off with a simple um, warm-up. I'm just going to be like jogging, um, doing some skipping ropes and some high kick sort of thing just to get my body pumping and my heart pumping and to get that blood flowing all around my body so that way I'm nice and warmed up and my body can literally handle anything I'm about to throw it at. Um, so yeah, just basic warm-up here. Um, star jumps, which are great for getting that stam stamina up um the main thing is is when you're exercising is keep your body moving don't ever like fully stop um always move your legs even if it's just a simple march on the spot um that way you are keeping yourself um like pumping and motivated um but yeah literally just simple warm-up techniques just to get my body pumping um then i go ahead and repeat all of that Here yeah, I'm just doing a few um, like over the head um, arm stretches just to get my arms working, um, to my shoulders out and things. Um, my arms would have worked a hell of a lot better um, if I actually had my weights but I couldn't find them so I'm going to have to wait till Kieran gets home to find them. Um, but yeah I was just trying to work my back and my shoulders and my arms um, to try and get them looking a little bit better and as well. Um, the boxing this is great when it comes to the um good old bingo rings is what we like to call them um because it really strengthens up them arms um and again do it from like fast medium slow do whatever your pace is um obviously in this video i have speed like sped it up so it's not like an hours long video um but yeah get them arms working Here I'm just doing some leg crossovers. Um, the lower you go with your legs, the better it works your um, abs out. And I'm just doing a simple um, like lowering of the legs um, that way so I knew exactly where it felt with my abs. Just because where I was doing it before, it didn't feel too um, good. Like it, like I couldn't feel it, if that makes sense. Um, and then here I'm just doing some simple crunches. Um, I love crunches. I literally do them all the time. Um but yeah i never spend too much long on the ab section just because um like on each thing just because 
I end up getting in so much agony. Here I'm doing like these ankle touches. This is great to get that hourglass figure. Um, so again, just 20 on each side. And here is the mountain climber, which, um, yeah, one to work your stamina and again your abs and your bum. Um, this is an all rounder one, which is great. Here I'm attempting Superman, however, you will see in a moment I kind of failed, um, so I just gave up with that one. Um, that one will have to come at a later date where I feel a lot more strength to me. Here I'm just doing a twist plank. These again are my absolute favourite. Um, I love them. I could literally sit in this position all day. Um, yeah, I just love this position. <laughs> Okay, so in a minute you're going to see me really struggle because um, I attempted to do the wall sit for 30 seconds, um, which I did. However, this is the first ever wall sit I think I've done since being at, like since not being at school, if that makes sense. Like six years not doing a wall sit. And this is the part where I start to feel very sick um, and I feel like I was going to give up. Um, but I really told myself when I was moving my arms to distract me from the pain and... Why well, I should shake my legs out because my legs are killed. Um, but as we all say, no pain, no gain. And because of this, I had to take a bit of a rest. Um, which I advise you do anyway. Go call, like go get a towel, go get some water, keep yourself hydrated while you are working out. That is the main key. Um, and then just because I hurt myself so much on the wall, I then decided to do a, just a few squats. I think I did about thirty or forty of them. Um, I'm not entirely too sure. Okay. I'm trying to count as I'm watching it back. <laughs> um, but yeah. I just did some squats again. I love squats. And here I'm just doing some hip raises. This is a, another good one for your bum and your legs. Um, just make sure you squeeze them butt cheeks in. And obviously make sure you breathe through everything. That's one thing, just breathe. And then here I'm doing the bicycle as well. Um, again, I love the bicycle. Um, this is another one that can vary from speed. You can start it off slow, then go quickly, or you can just keep it slow or just do it quickly. And then here I'm doing some oblique twists. Um, again, this would be a lot better if I had like a ball or something, like a weighted ball, um, but unfortunately I don't have one of them. So I just have to work with what I've got. Here I'm just doing some leg raises. This is another one to work your bum out with. Um, again, I love this one. Um, it's just really simple to do and it hasn't got... it. It's it's not one that you have to force through, if that makes sense. Um, again, just doing it to the side. Um, just getting all the areas of the butt. Here I am just sitting in the plank. Um, I realised that my head actually dipped quite a lot in this plank. Um, but again, the plank is another one that I really thoroughly enjoy. Um, I just like sitting in it. Um, but yeah. And I'm just going in with a couple more um, crunches just because I felt like I literally didn't do enough at the beginning of this video. Um, so I felt like I wanted to push myself a little bit further and do a few more. I then went ahead and started my cool down um, just because I felt 
so dreadful um like i said at the beginning of this video the first few days are always going to be the hardest um you're going to feel defeated on your first one but the main thing is just push through it and just do what you can do do not push yourself too hard obviously push through the pain because like we all say no pain no gain but don't push yourself too much to the point where you physically won't be able to get out of bed the next day um so yeah i just start with some simple stretches just to help me cool down um i do the cat and the cow pose to stretch out my back and my chest Then I'll just go in with a simple lunge um, and straighten my leg at the back. That way it can stretch my calf muscles out. Um, so then my legs won't be as achy in the morning. Um, this is also a chest press. So I'm sorting my chest. So this way my chest can be nice and relaxed. And then as well back on my legs because I did a lot with my legs today. Um which obviously you normally do all workouts. Um, I just feel like I needed to give more attention to my legs though. I'm just going over and doing like a full body stretch. This is perfect for your back, perfect for the back of your legs and it just makes you feel so much better when you come out of it. And then just to sort of end it off, I sort of just give my whole body a little bit of a shake. Just so that is it guys, that was my workout done. I didn't actually manage to do it in an hour. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm dead, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it was day one, it literally was day one, I've not done a workout in like over a week, so I've restarted again this week. Um, I'm so, so flushed, like look at my cheeks. Um, yeah, I don't know if you could see, but when I was doing my wall sit, I literally feel like I was going to throw up, and I thought, oh, like I'm going to throw up, I better stop here now, but I pushed through it, and I feel better and, than ever now. I feel so energised, I'm ready to go get a shower, and go get changed, and then wake William up, and then settle down for the evening. And just veg um that feels so freaking better for that and you will do too um just push yourself through it and yeah and if you like i don't know like if you want to do it like with me and then this is something that i will carry on and i will like help you through it all and things like that if you want tips and things like that um but yeah one thing i've realized though like doing fitness is that i used to, obviously I used to be a dancer like since the age of three i'm now 23 years old um Give me a three hour dance class, give me a really bad and hard routine to do, I can do it and I won't even come out of it panting, like just before I had to like sat down to film this I sort of had like a bit of a ten minute breather on the bed sort of and like, okay now you do my outro. Um, but yeah, like give me any dance routine and I'll, I, like, I can do it, I will be there, um, no out of breath, nerves, nothing, yet for some reason when it comes to workouts I literally die. <laughs> um but yeah i hope you all enjoyed it um i really enjoyed filming this it was actually something really fun to film um i have no idea what i look like <laughs> no problem is it like i've got like gonna have like such a horrible workout face to me um but yeah um hopefully this goes up if not i'm gonna have to think of something else to come up with but obviously if you'll see this outro it has been up um, but yeah, thank you all so much and I really hope I can stick on with this um, series and see what I can do and watch my body transform into something a lot better, get rid of this little mum tum um, and yeah, I will see you all for another video and don't forget to press that notification button and that subscribe, I did it the wrong way around, oh my god, don't forget to press that subscribe button and press that notification bell down below and I will see you all soon for another video, bye guys! Thank you.